Hey guys, welcome to Alien Diff Entertainment. Please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss no video uploads, okay? So, this is part three, the continuation of uh, the resignation of Herman Mashaba's letter. This is how it goes. While the papers will spend many hours writing up about who won and lost this weekend, the greatest loss belongs to the residents of Johannesburg and those who saw these arrangements as a brighter future for our country. Our multi-party coalition in Johannesburg has achieved enormous fe feats in the past three years against all odds. Different political parties have put aside the differences and found common ground in the interest of our residents. This was possible because local government is a space where ideology matters less than service delivery. And ultimately, this is what our 5 million residents needed most. I am also pleased to be leaving the city in a significantly healthier financial position. We ended the 2018 2019 financial year with 5.3 billion in cash reserves as a sinking fund valued at 2.7 billion rand. This translates into 43 days worth of cash coverage, double in the 21.3 20, days we closed on in the previous financial year. These significant reserves were not at the expense of service delivery, with the city spending 91.3% of its capital budget in the 2018-2019 financial year. I also believe that when the Auditor General releases his report at the end of November, this will result in improved audit outcome for the city. Our cutting back on frivolous expenditure through concerted austerity measures allowed us to increase the percentage of the capital budget spent on engineering infrastructure and housing from 51% in 2016 to 71% in 2019. Arising from this, there has been a reduction of power outages in the homes of Johannesburg residents from 6.1 to 5.1% per household per annum. Our program of water pipe replacement has reduced to number numbers of leaks and busts by over 4,000 per year, saving this precious commodity and reducing our losses. Over 900 kilometers of roads has been resurfaced but out of the 4,000 kilometers of roads that lay in poor and very poor conditions. We have stabilized collapsing bridges, which pose enormous threats to motorists across our city, most notably with the M2 freeway, which will be reopened in the first week of November. We have made major inroads into building crisis in Johannesburg, a problem that has existed for nearly 20 years. The number of queries every month has come down. The Backlogs have been reduced and the average time to resolve queries have been halved. Facilitated investment in the city has ballooned to 400% of where it stood when I entered office in 2016, rising from 4.5 billion rand in 2015 and 2016 to 17.3 billion rand in 2018-2019. For the first time in the history of this metro, business has been through on board as partner rather than a, rather than an adversary, unleashing the private sector's potential to assist the city in addressing its many challenges. We have extended the operating hours of 26 clinics across the city, which now operates late into the night and over weekends. Hundreds of patients have received life-saving treatment after hours and more mobile clinics now take these services to communities situated far from primary health care facilities. Under this government, the city's first free substance abuse facilities have been rolled out with five now operating in communities most heavily afflicted by addiction. 
The inner city project stands poised to transform the skyline of Johannesburg with 139 properties awarded for development and constructions has already begun. Last week, council approved the appropriation of the expropriation of 37 abandoned factories across the city with the potential to produce heavy housing yields by virtue of the size of these stands. 16 of these uh, are situated around Alexandra where the need for such initiatives are sorely needed. Our forensics unit established under the leadership of General Shadrach Sivia has set the standard in the fight against corruption and wrongdoing, which over 6,000 cases under investigations, totaling more than 35 billion rand in expenditure. This unit has managed hundreds of arrests and mis dismissals of corrupt city officials. Our diver Diversification of housing has been the rollout of the largest site and service projects in the history of the city with more than 4,000 services service service stands due in this financial year alone we have waged a war on the indignity of resident living without services in formal se settlements bringing more electricity and water to their communities than ever before the city is close to welcoming 1.5 thousand new JMPD officers who have been undergoing training since they initiated, since we initiated their recruitment in 2017. This will represent a 50% increase in the size of the JMPD force and greatly assist our efforts to bring law and order to the streets of Johannesburg. In, ad in addition, a specialized canine narcotics unit another first in johannesburg is currently waging a war against drug dealers in many ways the most emotional and difficult part of what has transpired in da is that i will not be able to see more of these programs through their through their finality i am fully aware that the da's constitution entitles the party to terminate my memberships immediately following this um, um, announcement this is their right however it is my hope that i will be allowed to see my work through to the end of november because there are many pressing matters that must be finalized Tomorrow I am due to appear before the Parliamentary Portfolio Committee on Home Affairs which arises from my request for such an audience. I will be there to present how the city of Johannesburg and its residents are sev severely impacted by a failing Home Affairs Department and an inability to, pr to protect the borders of our country. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, please listen to part four of the resignation letter. The reason why I'm doing this is that you, so that you don't get bored by listening to one thing after another. So you can choose which part you want to listen to. Okay, love you. See you in my next upload.